Linus Tech Tips coverage of CES 2015 is brought to you by Phantom Glass. Visit store.phantom.glass for the best darn screen protectors out there, as well as HyperX. All right, guys, welcome to our first video at CES. We're at the MSI suite checking out their first motherboard of the day, which is the Z97 Gaming 6. This motherboard features the world's first Type-C USB 3.1 connector, and while it's still a prototype, you might be able to see it sometime around March. Also sometime around March, they're trying to work with case manufacturers to get front panel headers, so you might be able to see USB Type-C connectors on the front of your case as well, which is quite cool. As I said, it's a prototype, so it doesn't actually feature everything thus far, so you won't be able to get like the power 2.0 standard of 100 watts, but you will be able to get that awesome data transfer speed that comes with USB 3.1. Now this was my first time trying out USB Type-C. My first observation was that I didn't plug it in enough. It's actually quite a tough connector to fully plug in, but it locks very nicely, which is really good to see in this type of connector. We know with micro USB and stuff like that, that uh, durability can kind of be a big issue, but USB Type-C supports theoretically up to 10,000-ish unplugs and replugs, which is really good. The next board on our hit list is the X99A Gaming 9 ACK. And what this board features is dual USB 3.1 plugs on the back of the motherboard. Now again, like with the previous board, this is just kind of supporting the 3.1 data speed standard, not uh, like the power 2.0 100 watt standard, but that's fine as pretty much no devices will support that right now anyways. Speaking of device support, this is compatible with USB 3.0 devices, unlike type C where you can't plug that connector in because it's not the same thing, although the end on the other side might work. This one is compatible with both, but you won't be able to get that speed advantage unless you have a device which is also USB 3.1 on the other side. Now they did have an example here of a device that is kind of under a box doing USB 3.1 transfer speeds. We see when it's on USB 3.1, we get about 700 and something on the Crystal Disk Mark bench that they're running, and about 400 and something when they're running on 3.0, a very nice speed increase. This board will probably be released sometime around Q1. Most likely it's less of a prototype board than the Type-C board we were looking at earlier. And while I know some of you are going to jump in the comments and go, oh, Thunderbolt already has 20 gigabit per second coming out soon, that's true, but not as many devices are supporting it, and it's often more expensive. So with USB, we are going to probably see a faster iteration of products and more acceptance amongst the market. So you're probably going to see USB around more often. Also, one thing to note with the like not supporting power power and stuff like that is if you're jumping really early on these boards, there's going to be not that many devices that support it anyways. And having two plugs also isn't really that big of a deal because, again, not that many devices are actually going to support it. And we've already seen that while you might have a ton of USB 3.0 plugs on the back of your board, you're mainly using USB 2.0 devices to plug into them already. Although that might change in the future, that's still a thing. So I don't think it's super important as of right now. All right, guys, thank you for watching our first video at CES at the MSI suite. If you want to see all the rest of our CES videos, be sure to say subscribed to Linus Tech Tips. Also, thank you to Phantom Glass for sending us here this year. We'll hopefully be releasing a cool little video of theirs fairly soon where, I don't know, I can't spoil it, but make sure you stay tuned because it'll be fairly interesting. Also, Kingston's HyperX YouTube channel is pretty cool. You should check it out. They've been growing a lot lately because they're releasing some pretty interesting content. So be sure to check that out as well, and I'll see you guys in the next CES video. Thank you.